Welcome to Practice Update. I'm your host, Dr. Jennifer Caudill, and joining me today is Dr. Jan Ahrens. Dr. Ahrens, welcome to the program. Hello. Alrighty, so Rao et al. are reporting an observational study regarding pre-chemotherapy nutritional status and chemotherapy response at ESMO this year. What are the important points from this study? Well, I think this, uh, this is a very exciting and uh, relevant trial to show that uh, the nutritional status when taken before initiating uh, mm -hmm. anti-cancer treatment is quite rele relevant and prognostically important for quality of life of these patients mm -hmm. and for uh, response to treatment of these patients. So this is a, a basic thing that should be incorporated much more frequently into pre-treatment assessment of cancer patients. I think that's a really good point. So another observational study reported at ESMO describes cancer cachexia, anorexia, and sarcopenia in non-small cell lung cancer patients. So what does this study add to our understanding of cancer cachexia? Well, there are not so many trials looking at nutritional status in cancer patients, so this adds to the important fact that this is a problem for cancer patients. Mm -hmm. And what this group uh, adds in really new terms also for the expert is that they show that there is there may be an association or a relationship between the uh, presence or emergence of cachexia which is an inflammatory state and certain uh, molecular uh, details of the tumor so there may be a direct uh, correlation between the uh, modifications of the tumor and the evolution of cachexia, which may be very important to have early diagnosis and more care directed to these patients. I think that's actually very, very interesting. It is. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dr. Ahrens, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. And thank you for joining us at Practice Update.